have Max Linsky on the phone. Max, how you doing? I'm good, Jenny. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you very much. Haven't seen you since, what, April? Was yeah, that last April, time we were down like there? April, like 2004. What have you been doing? We, we were here for the film festival. You just didn't make it down. Oh, that's a good point. He was too busy, but I was there, and it was a pleasure <laughs> seeing you. As always. Well, how's it going down in Sarasota? How's it going in Sarasota? I see you wrote the cover story for for the Tampa Bay issue too, huh? I did. I did. It was uh, we got a, we got a regional cover story this week. We, you know, uh, first of all, Frank Walters says, "Hey, man, when are you going to come up and visit us?" Number one, and says he misses you and say hello for him. And number two, hey. you couldn't hang on to be a Devil Rays fan more than one night. T- tell us a little bit about your cover story. The general premise was my 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 family was raised in Boston, and uh, my family's not all that religious, so we had to look elsewhere for family values, and we only have two basically. One of them is, is not checking bags at the airport because my father is sort of insane about traveling, and the other one is rooting for the Red Sox. So since I was a little kid, sort of straight out of the womb, I've been uh, indoctrinated to be a Red, Red Sox, Sox fan. And hey, Max, I got to ask you. Part of it. Hey, Max, let me ask you a quick question. Who were the Boston Red Sox two favorite teams? What's that? Who were the Boston? If you're a Boston Red Sox fan, who are your two favorite teams? Who are, who are your two favorite teams if you're right. a Boston Red Sox fan? Yeah. Your two favorite teams? Your There's two favorite. Only one, I think. Your two favorite teams. They are the Boston Red Sox and anybody playing the Yankees. <laughs> there you go. That's there you right. go. Sorry. Go ahead. That was funny, too. Anyway. It was funny. My he brother's a huge Red Sox fan. All right. Uh, so anyway, we were sort of, yes, I was raised to hate the Yankees and raised to sort of believe that rooting for a baseball team was supposed to be a, a gut-wrenching experience. And I was supposed to watch games expecting the Red Sox to blow it at the end. But uh, <laughs> when, they won the World, when they won the World Series in 2004, we lost a little bit of that. And we gained a whole bunch of sort of bandwagon fans who you'll see this weekend out at the trot. The sure, sure. playing the Red Sox are playing their first series of the of the season at the Trop tonight, uh, tomorrow night, I guess, and uh, and it's going to be seventy five, eighty percent Red Sox fans. It's going to be like a home game. Oh sure, and, just, uh, sure. But all these new fans, Janet, I think that I, they don't quite understand the pain, and and so I decided I would go looking for that for that pain I had grown to to know and love, and so I decided I would try rooting for the Red uh, for the Devil Rays. Well, that you know, um, not not to, to to blame the Devil Rays for anything other than they just don't have that heritage that a team like the Red Sox have, the Yankees have, and all that kind of stuff. I mean, it's it's kind of hard to get that stadium filled with Devils Rays fans. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Well, I think it's I think it's less about heritage, more about payroll. I mean, if you look at a team like the Marlins, you know they've only been around you know a decade as well. Or the Diamondbacks, right? Yeah, and then they've gotten a couple World Series out of it because they were, were willing or at least able to uh, pony up for some real talent, whereas the Devil Rays really aren't able to. I mean, you know, Alex Rodriguez makes more than the entire Devil Rays team does combined, and so, right. you know, when, when those are the stakes you're playing with, uh, being able to compete is going to be pretty mm-hmm. tough, I think. Well, tell us about how you can only be a Rays fan for one day. <laughs> <laughs> It was pretty interesting. I actually I went up to uh, Fenway Park to root for the Devil Rays against the Red Sox. I felt like that would be the ultimate test. Oh yeah, and, good. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. They uh, the Devil Rays were ahead uh, were were behind nine nothing after two innings, <laughs> uh, and so I spent the middle couple innings looking for other Devil Rays fans. I thought maybe I could commiserate, you know, uh, but I could only find one. <laughs> who was eight years old and there with his grandpa. And uh, I, I walked up to him and asked him if he felt lonely. And he, he, he was kind of looked down at his shoes and goes, uh-huh. And he was pretty scared. <laughs> but uh, the other funny thing was I found I found three guys all decked out in, in raised gear. So I went running up to them. This was the sixth or seventh inning. I was so excited to see them. I went running up to them. And, uh, and they, they claimed to be Yankee fans. <laughs> Only wearing stuff to, to piss off Red Sox fans. Oh, so good. To me like a, you know, that's that's pretty funny. My brother is a big Boston Red Sox fan, and he went last uh, the last series when Yankees were here a week and a half ago or two weeks ago wearing Boston stuff, and they made to a, a Yankees Devil Rays game, and they made him turn his T-shirt in backward or inside out. Really? Yeah, they did. <laughs> so. well, the stuff that, I mean, that was, that was the, you know, that was the thing I sort of, 
realized writing the story was that uh, you know this this fan stuff is is uh, a little overblown, but it, people take it really seriously, you know. And I think that uh, I sort of realized last week that I do too. Would you, um, Max? Would you put the uh a Devil Rays game on a see and do list of somebody just to experience once? Is it even fun to go to one of the games, or is it kind of vanilla? Well, I, I, I think that uh, I think that the new owners need to be given some credit. Uh, when I first got here in 2004, uh, it really wasn't a very pleasant place to go watch a game. I mean, the shop on its own is, is just not a very nice stadium, and there's not a whole lot you can do about that. But uh, but they've done a lot. I mean, it's much more fan friendly. One thing I think that's awesome that they've done is bring in all local food. So they still got some chains and stuff. But you'll find all kinds of little St. Pete and Tampa mom and pop shops in there, which I think is really great. So they, I, I think it's worth going to. I mean, it's high quality baseball. The, the Rays have a great lineup. Uh, they got a bunch of really good players. You know, young guys. Carl Crawford's a star in the making. But. Uh, they just, you know, you might as well be you and I pitching for them in the bullpen. <laughs> well, you want to know, uh, we, we actually did go to the Yankees game, and we, we are going to the Boston series this weekend. And, and, and for children, too, if, if you I thought you said kids, you, I thought your husband's not allowed to go. Well, we're going to go on Sunday for family day. Oh, if you're allowed um, to go, then he's allowed <laughs> oh, yeah. to go. I see how that goes. Um, but it's a lot of fun for the children, too, because they ha- do have that stingray little thing there that you can go and, and pet the stingrays, yeah. which the kids really enjoy. And they do have that bait the hot dog Pepsi deal or whatever. Yeah. Yep, but it's a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, I, I really do. I think aside from uh, from upping the payroll, the owners have really done a lot to try and, to try and build a fan base, and they need to get some credit for that. It's always packed. Give us a little bit of uh, give us a little bit of C and Ds. Anything else interesting out there besides <laughs> Devil Rays you, football or baseball, basketball, Fred, uh, tennis, what is it? He's not going to. You're not going to know C and Ds this weekend in Tampa, are you? No, he's going to talk about Sarasota. So I have all something right. to do. All right. Yeah, we got all kinds of stuff going on in Sarasota. We got all kinds of stuff. They've they, they've been saying that things slow down here in the summer, but uh, but things are, things are going on. The the thing to look forward to is we got uh, there's there's this new sport that's been started down here. Oh no! Uh, people are playing this game called golf, where they're uh, walking around the streets. It's sort of like golf, but with tennis balls, I... and you throw them, and it's on the on the urban landscape. So there's all these kids walking around throwing tennis balls at telephone poles and things. I love it. There's also <laughs> the like um, the gun show is at the Palmetto Convention Center. Just to make sure everybody knows about that. So over no, 300 no, resellers. You know, Max, it's wonderful to talk. Gun show. I, you know, how do you even go to a gun show, to be honest with you? Holy Max, mackerel. it's wonderful <laughs> to talk to you again. We need to get you up here. I think we'll probably see you soon for the best of uh, coming oh, yes. up Absolutely. soon. That's so. huge. That's huge. Yes. <laughs> 